Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. All right, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, and um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, land back on a topic that's uh, coming up. All right, and um, it's been on my mind for a while, but hearing different brothers talk about it, you know, it, it stirs it up, man. It, it, it stirs it up. I right, um, and this is Sirach 37, just to open it. All right, it's, it's 37 and 1. Every friend saith, I am his friend also. But there is a friend which is only a friend in name. All right, the thing about us, we're being proven as the Lord's friends. All right, we're being proven. All right, and the scripture tells you prove that which is good. I'm going to get another one, you know, tells you, you know, prove a friend. You have to, you have to prove a friend. All right, everybody wants to say, you know, I know they say Jesus. I know which that's not even his name, so you, you, you don't really know him. You, you don't know you don't know his original name and his original language. All right, you know his uh his his uh Greco, you know, Americanized uh name and image, so you really don't know him. All right, verse uh jumping to verse four, it says there is a companion which rejoiceth in the prosperity of a friend, but in a time of trouble will be against him. All right, and this lesson is on, the Lord is not dealing with the cool brother. All right, he's not dealing with somebody who's cool and, yeah, it's chill and, you know, yeah, you know, because, you know, our people are the salt of the earth, you know. They, you know, you look on uh, all these different platforms where they're at, you know, they're cracking jokes, telling, you know, they're just funny, man. They, they, they know how to, they have style. They know how to do things and say things and, and um, you know, make you laugh and make you think and make you say, you know, damn or whatever. All right? But at the end of the day, man, if you don't know your how about shim, your how was shy, then you're not going to make it. Right? If you're not walking in his statues, if you're not, if you're not of the elect, because right? the ultimate, the elect is going to rehearse the righteous acts. If you're not of that election, you're not going to make it. It doesn't matter how cool you are, how much money you got, how well you're dressed, how fast your car is, how good your credit is. All right? Shit. In some cases, it might not even matter if you leave this place and run somewhere else. All right? Because judgment is still going to find you eventually anyway. All right? And that day is coming, man. And that's what's happening, man. The Lord is proving us. He's proving us. All right, we have to prove ourselves in this furnace of adversity. All right, and but you know, as far as the brotherhood, you know, this that's what it is, man. We're all in the same fight. All right? We're all soldiers. We're all in the battlefield. There's nobody. It's no stand arounds. There's nobody who doesn't you know put in any any work. All right, <laughs> pertaining to the scriptures. I'm going to read it again, verse 4. There's a, companion, there's a companion which rejoiceth in the prosperity of a friend, but in a time of trouble will be against him. And we're, into, we're about to enter into that time of Jacob's trouble. Man. We're, I mean, we're already in the beginning phases, but it's only going to get crazy. It's only going to get worse. All right? Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people, man, are going to make some decisions, which is going to ultimately uh, decide you know, what their, their fate is going to be, right? To plainly put it, right? that, that, that the hour of temptation is coming, man. That hour of, of uh, you know, where people have that choice, you know, to still attach themselves to this world or completely give it up. All right, and the scriptures say many are called, few are chosen. And this is not a place to just chill, hang out. You know, I can sip up brother's beer. I, you know, this is Ephesians 4 and 12, matter of fact, 4 and 11. It said, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some and teachers, excuse me, for the perfecting of the saints. All right, so you have brothers in certain positions. All right, the apostles, they're in a certain position for a certain reason. All right, the elders, they're in a certain position that they're a certain reason. 
okay and that's for us to uh examine them and to to follow them follow the example that they've set all right this ain't the thing where you just come and you know you just in a click and you can just chill you know do some rap videos and you know you get you wear your fringes you know you know we have oh yeah like uh I, IUIC they have a uh, uh fashion you know fashion events or whatever the fuck nah man we're here to be perfected okay these men these positions are being set up for a reason to guide the flock to guide our people okay don't cheat yourself and, and you know you only deal with two brothers in the camp there's, a, there's, there's all these brothers in the camp you know what I'm saying for you to, to uh, be able to um, you know sharpen yourself in dealing with them but you, you're not really dealing. All right, nah. All right, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. All right, this ultimately is a, this ultimately, excuse me, is a team project, man. The brothers will tell you that. This, there's no I in team. All right, for the edifying of the body of a Mashiach. All right, when you look up edifying, right, it's a building up, building up, metaphorically edifying. The act of one who promotes another's growth in Hamashiach, all right? Wisdom, piety, happiness, holiness, a building. That's what's going on, man. We're building. Now, we're building. Right? Hey, the worst job is where people just show up and, you know, it's, it's 9 a.m. They're sipping Budweiser. They're not task-focused at all, you know. You up here trying to work, you know, everybody else is in your way. You know, that's 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 the work worst to work environment to be in. Because right? ultimately, that's what this is, man. This is a task based uh, uh, team effort. All right, this ministry, this 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 building, us building this temple. And ultimately, the high priest of this temple is Yahweh Shai. All right, that's who we should follow, man. That's who we should strive to be more like all right because ultimately man whatever background you're from whatever world you're from or whatever we all have character flaws we all have things that you know you sharpening up are you gonna have brothers who you're you're closer than absolutely you're closer to you know your interests or you know more uh, uh your interests are similar absolutely all right, but don't cheat yourself, man. Be around brothers who are going to sharpen you and, and, and take you to the next level. All right, hey, that's the, that, the, you know, the hard, when you look at training, you know, the hardest trainers are the ones who, you know, they're, they're, they're a little abrasive. All right, they push you to be better. They don't just sit up, you know, that's what people in the world do. They just hang out with some niggas who are just like them, talking about what they talking about, doing what they doing, and they never go anywhere. You know, they're still in the same place years later, sipping the same beer, talking the same shit, you know, talking about high school shit. you 30-something. Nah, man. Nah. All right, we're talking about the things to come. We're talking about the thing, you know, all these different things which the Lord has gifted us to see and understand. All right, Solomon talked about all these things and the reasonings of men. All right, the roots, the diversities of plants. The, 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 the heavens, the natures of wild beasts, all these different things, man, which the Lord has gifted us to be able to comprehend. All right, we ain't just the average common niggas, man. We're just chilling, you know. They just chill in front of the corners, you know, in front of the little corner store, man. They just chilling all day, sipping beers, arguing, rolling dice. <laughs> nah. All right, this is, um, Yeah, Ephesians. No, that's not what I already read. That. And it's a, but it's another one that I wanted. It's, a, it's fervent, cause that's what this is about, man. Fervency. All right, we're in the fire, man. You know, nobody got time to be cool, man. Paul talked about all the sufferings, man. Rejoicing in sufferings. All right, he talks about. Um, You know, stripes, uh, shipwrecks, 
and you when you embrace you know the fact that you're an Israelite and you you become a part of this ministry you're gonna deal with these things right, this is not for the cool guy who just I'm just here just to you know chill and, you know yeah we can sit up you know I can drink our brother's drink you know and eat you know everything up you know not really put in on nothing you know if I get behind on my bills I could just you know Ask the brothers to help me or something, you know, they could just, yeah, yeah. No, this this ain't that, man. And the Lord will fuck you up for doing that kind of shit. All right, this is uh, Romans 12 and 10. I'd right, be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Exactly. Hey, we prefer one another. All right, hey, you have, you know. We prefer, you have a preference over somebody in the world, man. I'm going to prefer to deal with brothers over dealing with these people in the world, no matter how cool they are. All right? Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, man. Not slothful. All right? This ain't, this ain't, this, again, this is not the hangout spot. All right? We're working to build something. We're doing stuff. You're going to go through situations. You gonna come to brothers with 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 with, with uh, some mess, and then a brother gonna look at you like, eh, you know, and then tell you, you know. Sometimes you know, you, Jake might say something harsh to you that you don't necessarily like. Like maybe you've never had to take uh, um, a rebuke or a reproof or or listen to correction or, you know, say, hey, sometimes it might be wrong. Right? You might have to suffer wrongfully. Right, shit. Sometimes, hey, guess what? Sometimes you think you're right, and you're really you're wrong, <laughs> and you have to suffer the, the stripes of your brother versus the the kisses of the enemy. All right, because that's what happens, man. This world they're gonna tell you, you know, that's what they do, man. Self promo, self promotion. Everybody is for me, self. See how great I am. Look at all my fucking pictures and bullshit that doesn't matter. All right. Meanwhile, you don't know, they don't know the name of the Lord, they don't know his son, they don't know what the Bible's about, and we're sitting here explaining it a hundred times over and over until the Lord finally says, okay, enough. Let's get rid of, you know, let's, let all this shit, you know, be burned up. That's why it says that, man. Seeing all these, these the elements shall be dissolved, <laughs> what man or person shall you be? All right, be fervent. Hey, the, 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 the apostles, man, they weren't cool, man. They wasn't just some cool guy. They were these were rough men. Now you had fishermen. You had, you know, John, the Baptist coming out of the wilderness. He wasn't just a bunch of just cool guys just sitting up kicking up. No, the Lord had them doing work, man. And when you read, you know, their ministry, they're going city to city, all right, through through all kind of chaos and turmoil and and corruption and the government. And, you know, this was a, this is. This was a hell of a task, man. All the all the apostles, all of them died except for one. All right, they sent forth. The scriptures say we sent forth amongst wolves. <laughs> hey, these people are, are, are fucking sick, man. They'll do anything to get over to get to get you know ten dollars over on you. All right, the Lord is not looking for cool cool guys. He's not looking for some you know Joe Cool, smoking a cig, or whatever. All right, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. And that's what prayer is, man. You're crying out to the Heavenly Father. You're begging Him. You can't be too proud to, like they say in the word, I ain't too proud to beg. You can't be too proud to beg, though. All right, the Lord wants you to do that, man. He wants you to cry out. There's a scripture that says that, too. You know, the Lord you know, rejoices when we cry out. All right, um, yeah, Sirach 6 and 5, it says, Sweet language will multiply friends, and a fair-speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Exactly, and that's exactly what happens, man. Jake knows how to talk. They know, you know, they know all the right things to say. They got the catchphrases. You know, they might have the, 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 the outfit. Uh, they might, you know, be in, in, in decent shape, you know, walk with a bop or whatever. You know, have some swag and some confidence. So, you know, it's like, whoa. 
and um Yeah, man, this, this 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 isn't that though. I right, said Jake might, you know, have some girls, have some money, have a nice, decent car. That's why the scriptures tells you, you know, of course you observe that, but to look past all that. Right, look at a man's character. Look at the things that he says. Right? Look at the things he's focused in. Look at it, look at his patterns. Right, that's why the scriptures teaches you to observe somebody's spirit. Right, we're not here to fall in love with material possessions and. You know what I'm saying? Nah. But the Lord does bless brothers, absolutely. But that's not, you know, the be-all, end-all of, uh, you know, what's going to... Because ultimately, man, we all, we're all going to uh, be out of this system. All right? It's coming to that point. All right? Hey, verse 7. Just to, just to hit the point home, man. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend of, of it for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. All right, so prove that hey, the Lord has proven us. So you have to prove your friends. All right, hey, if you're, you're a young brother coming around older men, guess what? They, go, they might look at you, you know. They might watch you. They might ask you some questions. Uh, you might have to show a certain level of conduct before they want to, you know, open up a little and have a conversation with you. All right? They might want to see some uh, some diligence. Of course, some discipline. That's what this is about. All right? Hey, dealing with older brothers, dealing with younger brothers. Those younger brothers, they have to show some maturity. Right, they have to show some diligence. They have to show that they actually know some scriptures. And if you're an older brother, you know, that's a big responsibility too, man. Proving, you know, and, and making sure that your men are on point. Right? And, and watching out for certain things that might be in their spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of things, you know, some things you can, you can uh, purge out of a man's spirit, but then some things take time. You know, some things are, are more deeply rooted. All right, because this is hell, man. We all have a, again, we all have a set of backgrounds. And, and you know, we don't have a, all have a classical background. Or we don't all have a background of, you know, being in a, a culture of edification and, and like this. All right, so, you know, that's a big thing. And guiding the flock, man, that's, no, that's not a light task, man. That's not just a position just to have, you know, just to have. All right. Um, yeah. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. All right. And that's what we're looking for, man. We're looking for men who are going to continue on in the things that they learn, not men who are going to be, you know, who are going to quit as soon as things get hard or, or you know, a situation doesn't go their way. You know, it, and they're trying to have a certain image and a certain, you know, look. But it, but it doesn't work like that, man. All right, but a good name is better than ointment. But we're not here for fame. All right, we're not here for gain. We're not here for the the Hebrew awards and the the the, the you know thousand dollar garments and the you know the build a factor. We're not here for that. Okay, we're here to do the work of the Lord amongst brothers who are who are called to do you know the same thing, man. And Lord willing, be be the chosen. All right, we're here to to. Uh, Make our calling and election sure, man. Try to be be of the elect. All right, but that's all I had, man. Lord, what is that the fine show, man?